Hi, this is Matt once again. We're about to another video. This is another paid request, this time for Annabelle. Thank you so much for that. For those interested, requesting pretty much any type of videos or topics, commenters, reviews, re reviews, whatever it may be, feel free to join my Patreon or send it to my PayPal. Both links are down below in the info box. It could be for pretty much anything. And this one is for a 2007 film called Primal, which was such an absolute garbage movie. I just... I mean, this is a film that supposedly costs from $8,000 to $10,000 that has like a 2.4 or something on IMDb. It deserves it. Such a boring, terrible Bigfoot movie. That's what it is. Where the the opening credits are showcasing this map, like like a Flashpoint cartoon map. And as the cams go in this card like Flash animation map, there's like little explosions with terrible effects appear and these titles pop up and I'm like is this a joke my neighbor's rooster I guess thinks it's a joke or at least one of his roosters because if you put different music this could be the beginning of a Nickelodeon or Cartoon Network show with the way this looks I'm like, this is supposed to be the look of a horror movie? And then you have these three walking through the woods. They find this bone. The bone looks like something you would get at Walmart or Target for your dog. Like a chew toy or something. Or like, you know, a fake, you know, bone. Hey, chew on the, chew, you know. And, you know how a lot of movies, they want to hide the monster for suspense or tension? No. You see the monster in five minutes. And it's a fake looking mask. And it's a guy, when he runs out, his arms, he can barely lift his arms. He's doing this fucking thing. <laughs> and the director's like, let's have the camera shake. And when a Bigfoot attack happens, it's very, very, very hyper edited. And then they put, like, fake scratches on the camera to make it look like it's an older movie. And then they screw with the filters, so it's different colors, it's more yellow or such. And then, on top of that, it's just so hyper-edited. And there's really no, there's no gore in the film. So the monster would come up, and with these fake scratches... You feel like you're getting killed by epilepsy. The monster will You know, I did the arm is just kind of flopping. And it was ah, ah. There's one point he's killing a woman. And when it cuts back to the... Like, the big foot scratch and maybe there's a blood flying. But it cuts back to the woman and there's no blood on her shirt. There's no fucking blood on her shirt. Her shirt's fine. On the on the other end, yeah, there's no gore, there's no like taking an arm off or f taking the dick off. Like what was that movie? Die of the Demon. There's none of that. So those three get killed by epilepsy, especially with a guy kids killed. If you have epilepsy, you it will be you will get a seizure for watching that bit. Then it cuts to some time later these, I guess, environmental... A group of people go into the woods. They're hired by this oil and gas company. Which nothing ever comes to fruition with that oil and gas company. There's like a guy on the phone and you're thinking, okay, is he... Does he know something else going on? Is he going to be our human bad guy? Is he going to be like our Burke, Paul Reiser from Aliens? No. It's just there to set it up. I don't know, there's like six or so people. I know there's a guy and his younger brother. There's a black guy. Uh, 
there's a couple women. So no, there's no, there's another. So it's maybe seven. I can't remember. On the flip side, there's also another couple on their own little adventure. And their whole story is they get to a ranger station. The ranger, the park ranger is the woman's brother. And when it comes back to them, it's just them chatting, talking, where the woman's trying to get her brother, the park ranger, to come to their wedding. Because her and this guy's getting ready to get married. It's all that happens as a subplot until the very end. That's it. And for these other hikers, they wander around. A lot of walking, a lot of wandering around the woods. They find a footprint. Each kill is like the same thing. <clears throat> the filters change. The director puts fake scratches on the camera. Thumbs up, maybe a swipe to the camera. The bizarre. Like the same thing. There's no gore, there's barely any blood. It's a shitty looking suit. Arms flop around. Uh, the younger brother, he's scared. He has a gun. He accidentally shoots the black guy. And that pretty much just dwindled down to two people. The older brother and the his like girlfriend or whatever. <clears throat> I mean, those two go, and then you get these, like an hour, I don't know, an hour in, these three criminals show up. Why? Who are these criminals? Why are they out there in the middle of the fucking woods? You don't know, it's just three people, and... I think the our two knocked out one of them, and the other two get killed in the same way by Bigfoot, where either it's cut away, and you find them dead, like the girl, or it's the guy where, again, killed by filters, film scratches, epilepsy, hyper-editing, however you want to call it. I mean, I don't even know how else to describe that shit. And finally, our two get to the station and meet the park ranger, his sister, and sister's fiancé. There's a part where the park ranger, the Bigfoot creature's on a rock, and the guy has it done like this. And for a full 30 seconds, it's like the fucking Sally from Chainsaw 2022, has the kill, you know, right there, doesn't shoot. Why? I don't know. Then there's a bit where there's like a little gas can, throws it, shoots, horrible looking fire, horrible looking fire that hits the Bigfoot. When they shoot the Bigfoot, there's bad little effects to make it simulate bullet hits. But you don't actually see bullet hits, kind of like, two, two, two. Specks of red, it's just terrible, cheap jack effects. And then, one thing leads to another, you think Bigfoot's dead, the park ranger gets close like an idiot, spoiler alert, grabs the park ranger, park ranger, again, when you shoot it, you can't have squibs, guess it's too expensive, so again, fake, I don't even know how to put it, then they're both dead. And then the the remaining, actually I think it's the remaining three, I think, the the part ranger's sister and her fiancé are alive, and I think the third is one of the, I think the one brother died, I can't, I, know, I think it was three, and there's a chopper. Now, when the chopper was called in, you could tell it was like handheld, it's someone in a helicopter lifting up. They're very proud of that shot. I'm actually in a helicopter. 
But then when you see a chopper arrive above our remaining people, it's a CG chopper. So they couldn't afford that part of the chopper. I was surprised they didn't just walk into a clearing and then, boom, you have a chopper. I mean, if you're, you're able to get into a real chopper and fly in it, but yeah. I mean, what more can be said? It's badly acted. It's terribly boring. There's not even any, even any gore to take your mind off stuff. Uh, the most you get out of characters is the one girl who has a fiancé and her brother's the park ranger. It's done very cheap. They try to do, They try to do something clever at the end where... The end credits, each person's face is shown on the missing posters. That could have been clever, but that's all done in that cheap flash animation style as well. I'm sitting there going, you can't, you tell me you could not get paper, not this paper, but paper flyers, put like a picture of them on there. Like an actual physical missing poster. Like imagine the camera just going by the missing posters. And this. Kind of like what the guy has on a wall in his ranger station. No you have to do that all with fucking. Flash animation like. I did cartoon background. Come on man. How cheap are you? If you don't have enough. Don't make the fucking movie. Primal. Well, I mean, it was a Bigfoot film I had not seen, because I've seen quite a bit of Bigfoot films back in the day. The best ones, are, to me, are Harry and the Hendersons, family film. Love that movie. Abominable, great flick. With Matt McCoy, where it's like rear window, because the guy's in a wheelchair. He goes back to the scene where this tragic accident happened, where his wife died. He's kind of forced to go back there. Meanwhile, all he can do is watch the outside. There's other people over that way. And there's a creature out there. And you find out it's this Bigfoot type of creature. Basically done effects. That's a good one. Uh, I like this. Directed by one of the guys who did Blair Witch Project. And there's a lot of bad ones. There's ones called just Bigfoot. Uh, there's one where... Bigfoot County is the worst one I've seen. Bigfoot County is still the worst Bigfoot film I've seen. Worse than this? As shitty as the creature looks, at least there's a creature throughout it. Bigfoot County is literally nothing... Until this couple gets like raped and killed by these redneck yokels, and then you see Bigfoot's foot, and then it ends. It exists is how you do a good Bigfoot found footage film. Bigfoot Count is how you do a bad Bigfoot found footage film. I did not like the one Bobcat Goldthwait directed, and I forgot what it was called. It was a found footage Bigfoot. Bobcat Goldthwait directed, I didn't like it either. It's one where like there's a scene in a tent. That literally goes on for 20 minutes, give or take. I know people thought it was a scary. I did not. I thought it was boring. I can't remember half those Bigfoot movies now, but I don't. I don't think there's a lot of good ones. Like I said, to me, Harry and the Hendersons, Abominable, exists are the three better ones. This, not so much. And my stomach, I guess, agree with it, even his approval, or disapproval of this. Be a primal. Because at first I thought Annabelle meant primeval, that weird crocodile movie with Orlando Jones in it. But I reread it, no, she's, you know, Annabelle said primal. Maybe this is a film she saw. I'm assuming it's a she, it's Annabelle, because I'm like... There's no women that watch my stuff. <laughs> but. Maybe she saw this and was pissed too. <laughs> and I, if that's the case, I can understand. And if people liked it, that's cool. Teach their own just wasn't for me. 
very boring, very basic, very inconsequential, and very cheap. So with that said, thanks for watching. Take care. We'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.